This comes out. This guy goes in like that. Paleontologist Richard Norris of the Scripps Institution of Oceanography is no stranger to the Joides resolution. He's been on board for six expeditions, and today he's our tour guide. Here he points to a core, or the tube where mud and dirt can be squeezed into, and he's putting it into different drill bits, which the ship uses to bore hundreds of meters, sometimes deeper, into the Earth's crust. Some of these bits are more heavy duty than others, depending on the difficulty of the terrain at the sea floor. But why, might you ask, is all this deep ocean dirt digging happening in the first place? There's two things. There's discovery, and then there's also potential benefits to people. Nora says there's life deep within the Earth's crust, or microorganisms, that we don't know much about. And accessing them and studying them could help humanity learn what it takes to live in extreme conditions. On the discovery side, you know, we really don't know what the limits of life are. Uh, how deep can it go? How hot can it go? How acidic can it be? You know, what are the conditions in which life finally just gives up and says, we're done? And the way these scientists answer these questions is by filling up these cores with sediment from around the world. It's been to a, over a hundred sites from off the coast of Japan to the Gulf of Cadiz by Portugal. This research vessel has been part of the International Ocean Discovery Program since 2004. Around half of the expeditions aboard this vessel are intended to help scientists understand changes in Earth's climate over history. In fact, the sediment collected off the coast of Chile could help scientists understand glacial activity from maybe even 100,000 years ago. Making those discoveries goes like this. The core is filled up with sediment, it's cut open with a saw, laid out in a lab, and scrutinized by all types of scientific experts on board. This one comes from Madagascar. But we have found ammonites like this one in cores on expeditions that I've been on. Expeditions are usually two months long, and when scientists aren't busy searching for things like ammonites or fossils of sea creatures that lived tens of millions of years ago, they're taking a break from their 12-hour shifts to have a cookie or catch up on sleep. And right now, the crew's loading up food and supplies for its next expedition, which will be to the Guaymas Basin. So the seafloor is being created in the Guaymas Basin. It's very hot. There's lavas erupting you know, into sediments and probably on the seafloor. There's black smokers down there, these vents that are spewing out all kinds of chemicals as well as life. So, Nora says, it should be an exciting trip. The Geordie's Resolution vessel plans to leave port this weekend on path to the Guaymas Basin in the Gulf of California where it plans to stay drilling deep into the ocean for about two months. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.